so really uh, the functionality of this isn't complete so we need to find a way to change this uh, text value here uh, dynamically when we press the button and what all we really need to do is go ahead and set another variable you uh, hold it that holds a new type so I'm going to say var new type is equal to and we're going to create uh, an inline if statement or a one line if statement uh, and this is essentially going to check if the type is equal to password uh, in fact let's do it the traditional way first uh, and then I'll go and show you how to shorten this out so I'm going to create an if statement the condition is going to be if the type is equal to password then we obviously need to change this value here to text so we can create a variable uh, saying new uh, type and that's going to be equal to text now otherwise if the type is um, equal to text we want to go ahead and set the new type to password and what ha what's going to happen now is this is going to allow us when we replace this value here with this new type to switch between the two because each time we pr each time we change the checkbox i.e. we tick it or untick it we'll grab the type and modify it accordingly so essentially what we're doing is we're swapping password for text or text for password so let's go ahead and substitute this in so new underscore type and that will just change the type to either text or password depending on what it's currently at uh, so I don't really like this long if statement here it's slightly unnecessary so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, make this a bit shorter so I'm going to say var new type is equal to and in brackets we create our condition so I'm going to say type equals password now if the type uh, does equal password we set the value of new type uh, we set the value text into new type otherwise we set the value password to new type so essentially this is saying if type equals password then new type equals text uh, otherwise new type equals password so that's just a shorter way to write out uh, that long uh, and unnecessarily five six line if statement so let's go ahead and uh, check this in our browser so let's just run through the process when we type in a password uh, let's password and we click the show password checkbox um, we grab all the relevant information we check what the current type of the field is uh, and then we remove uh, the previous field so we remove this field entirely then we create a new field in its place using dot before uh, with the new type so this will just switch between types so I'm going to click show password and you can see that the password has been shown but now when I uncheck it uh, it it checked for the type and obviously like let's just take an example at the moment the type of this is password so when we check the button it will check the type is password and it will create a new field with the type text and then when we uncheck it it will, it will check and see if this is text and if it is text it will change the type to password so it's quite hard to see how this works in jQuery because it's so quick at removing and, and re-adding elements in the DOM uh, but essentially what we're doing is just you know changing over uh, the type of the input field um, obviously in reality that's not what we're actually doing we're actually removing it and replacing it with a new one uh, but you know it, it works the same way it has the same effect now like I said before if you wanted to go ahead and add something like uh, a maximum length to this uh, you would have to go ahead and say we've got max length equals 10 here you'd have to go ahead and uh, grab this just under here so I'll go ahead and uh, just demonstrate this quickly so I'm going to say previous dot attribute max length um, and uh, inside here what we can now do is uh, specify this afterwards so max length equals uh, and then we can just go ahead and append on let's just pull that over uh, we can go ahead and append on the value for max length so now what's going to happen is regardless of uh, what we type so I'm gonna I'm gonna just type a load of characters uh, my well the max length attribute has stopped me here uh, so now when I show the password oh okay so something has gone wrong there let's just check um, 
Oh yeah, okay, so that's max L, not max length. I've called it up here. Okay, so back, let's go ahead and refresh. Uh, I can type a load of characters once again and it stops me. When I press show password, it shows what I've typed. However, I still am pressing keys on my keyboard. Uh, I'm sure you can hear it on the microphone, me just pressing keys and nothing's happening. When I go back to my original password and I try to press more keys, you can see that the max length attribute has been retained. Now if we didn't include this, let's get rid of that and let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, then what's going to happen is uh, when we have the original password field, that's fine, it stops us uh, at the, the point of 10 characters. However, when we show password, because we didn't pass this uh, attribute back over, we can continue to type in here. Uh, and then when we uh, uncheck that again, we can continue to type even more. So it's important that any attribute you think you're, that you're going to give your password field that you retain uh, and uh, actually, again, like let me just undo all this, that you grab the attribute using Atra and then you place it back into the uh, recreated um, form field or the, for or the field. So we've successfully created um, a nifty little script that's going to uh, allow a user to uh, obviously check and uncheck a password to show it. Like I said, it is cross compatible with all other elements or all other, um, you know, password fields on your page. Uh, so let's just put a break there. If you were to go ahead and um, use two of these on your page, for example, uh, when you type them, they won't interfere with each other. Uh, you can do, uh, you know, two things at once and you can, you know, show and unshow each one. Uh, and because we're referencing them uh, correctly uh, in our code, uh, there's no conflict there available, or there's no conflict at all. So that's just a short uh, but quite easy uh, in terms of you know how it's written. It's not too much code, uh, and a great way to add this to your page for every password field.